Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breast, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. Okay, I know it's cliche to start the year with an episode on healthy places to eat, but come on, I know everyone is locked into their health and fitness goals, so I'm calling on Chef Raphael Nasser, aka Chef Rafi, from Craft Pita to help us pick the top healthy spots to enjoy a meal in Houston. From best dinner spots to best healthy sandwiches, we're covering it all so you can stay on top of those health goals. It's Wednesday, January 3rd, 2023. I'm Rahil Ramzanli, and here's what Houston's talking about. Chef, welcome into our first food episode of the year. How are you? Doing great. Thank you for having me, Real Appreciate it. Man, I am pumped to chat with you. Now, before we get to our healthy eating, and we're going to turn things around here. It's a new year, new me. What fitness goals or healthy goals do you have for 2024? Man, I put on a lot of weight during the COVID years. Last year, I lost about over 30 pounds just by eating at my own restaurant, Craft Pita, and doing the Mediterranean diet. Nice thing about the Mediterranean diet is there's not a lot of restrictions. There's parameters, but you can pretty much eat everything, healthy amount of fats, healthy amount of protein and vegetables. So my fitness goals for this year is I lost all that weight. Being a restaurant owner, being a chef, I do not have a lot of time to work out. My goal this year is definitely to get in a, a nice workout routine and, and keep on shedding the weight. Nice. That's good. Tell me about the Mediterranean diet, please, because I always hear about it. Just like high level explanation. Yeah. So high level explanation is, let's say you have a plate, right? You want about 30% of your plate to be protein. You want about 60% of it to be vegetables and grains. And then you want another 10% of that to be healthy fat. Typically, you want to reserve that for something like olive oil. And the idea is that you're not restricting anything, but you're placing an emphasis on a healthy amount of veggies, protein, and grains. And kind of sticking to avoiding fried foods, processed carbohydrates, sticking to things that, you know, are more or less good for you from an obvious perspective, whether it's a a, a vegetable that's like a a salad or grilled vegetables and then sticking to the lean proteins like a beef, fish, chicken. They basically found out that excluding fat from your diet is kind of a huge misnomer that's been preached to us for a long time. And the Mediterranean diet really says you have to have good fats in your diet it's good for your brain it's good for your heart for sure you know there's a lot of benefits specifically with olive oil that they found so yeah the mediterranean diet is uh, a lot easier diet than most other ones to to live by you don't necessarily have to count calories you don't necessarily have to you know watch what you eat as much you just have to have some real easy things to follow Yeah, it's as simple as that, right? There's some personal responsibility there and you just make good choices and hopefully everything works out. So we're going to get to our picks for some healthy eating around the city of Houston. Now, before we do that, I do want to put a disclaimer out there that we are not doctors. You should always consult a physician. Every diet is different and every diet is different to you. So you know, be careful taking our advice in terms of like, you're not going to lose weight on all of these. There are some picks that are a little bit calorie high or a little bit higher in fats. We don't know, but we just wanted to get a list of healthy eating choices out there. So we're going to start with the most obvious thing ever. All right, Rafi, best salad. Give me a recommendation for a good spot for a good salad. So while at our restaurant, Craft Pito, we got tons of great Mediterranean salads. Whenever I'm not in the mood for eating one of our salads, I definitely make my way over to Leaf and Grain. The owner, Dietz, over there has a real dedication to quality, and they just got a lot of great options. You can build your own salad. They have a ton of great preset options. I really like the Mexican salad they have, and they also now have introduced some grain bowls for dinner. 
but definitely leaf and grain. They got a location kind of close to our West U spot on Westland. They've got some locations downtown and they're opening up a new location next to our original craft Vita over on San Felipe as well. Yeah, Dietz is awesome. He he was on the show last year and we talked nice. about some sandwiches around town as well. And his sandwich menu looks so good. So shout out to him. Leaf and Grain is a really good pick. Yeah, you know, I also, again, we're not doctors. Eat the salad. But if you're feeling <laughs> a little splurging, that shortbread, the rosemary shortbread cookie, I, I definitely will eat one or two of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good pick. For me, this is a newer chain that's popping up around the greater Houston area, and it has become one of my favorites, is Salad and Go. And it's so underrated, Rafi, because it, it has a great menu. It's fresh. It's really affordable. Now, you can pick from their preset menu or you can craft your own, which is nice. I love getting the salad in a wrap. So it's a big burrito with a big salad inside. And I love getting it after I play basketball or flag football or a hard workout. I get my carbs back up. Now, some of these salads can be higher in calories. So again, look at the menu, make a wise decision, but they're great. And again, they're affordable. You drive up, you get your salad, you are on your way. And their drink menu is fantastic as well. Yeah, they've been really blowing up all across the city, I think, uh, that drive through, you know, there's not a lot of great healthy drive through options. And I think that definitely checks that box. So now let's go to best sandwich. All right. A healthy sandwich that will keep us on track. What do you got for us? I'm going to be self-promoting here. Craft Pita's <laughs> definitely got some of the healthiest sandwiches in town. All of our sandwiches are under 650 calories. Our most popular is definitely the chicken pita. We use uh, shredded rotisserie chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, a little bit of red cabbage, and some garlic aioli. We have also got some great uh, vegan, vegetarian options like our veggie pita or our falafel pita. We make the falafel pita from scratch. And even though it's fried, it's a great vegan option. And then we have a beef pita as well as some ground beef with some Texas Akaishi Wagyu beef. Ooh. They're all served with baked pita chips. Can't go wrong with getting a side of hummus. Add some extra protein in your meal. Are the pitas your number one seller? So our bowls and pitas kind of like one in one. Um, you know, mm. our, our chicken pita and our chicken rice bowl are actually our number one and number two sellers. So we are definitely a sandwich shop, but people, you know, if it kind of depends what you're in the mood for that day. Nice. That's really cool. I, I'm like blown away that your the pitas aren't number one. You know, <laughs> you're called craft pita. Uh, but that's cool that, you know, the bowls are also rising to the top there. Yeah, you know, bowls are comfort food. Eating something out of a bowl makes you feel like you're at home. The nice thing about the sandwiches is they travel great. Um, you can eat them in your car. You can order it to go delivery, pick up and take them to your office. Our sandwiches are definitely the number one reason why we we started the restaurant. We just noticed uh, there's a lot of great Middle Eastern Mediterranean restaurants in town, but no one was using the quality of ingredients that we use at Craft Pita. We serve locally sourced vegetables in our sandwiches. Like I mentioned before, uh, you know, really high quality, humanely raised proteins from the state of Texas. And we make all of our sauces from scratch. And our pita bread comes from a, a, a Phoenicia, a locally owned and operated uh, Lebanese uh, supermarket. Wow. So, I mean, that's a really good pick. I don't think I'm going to beat that healthy sandwich <laughs> pick because that's awesome. But I'm glad you brought up Phoenicia because that takes me to my next category, which is an overlooked healthy restaurant that people need to try. And I'll start this one off and that's Phoenicia. And it's such a good spot for good protein, the shawarma wraps and other great veggie options as well. I just think people are sleeping on Phoenicia and you go in there, of course, the menu that I just mentioned, but also you can just walk around and shop and get really healthy items. Yeah, I don't know if there's a more influential restaurant uh, to me than Phoenicia. They started off at a, as a small deli across the street on Westheimer. And I, I've been eating there since before I can remember my, you know, since I was a little kid, me, uh, the owner's son who runs the whole company, his name is Rafi as well. So we got that in common. <laughs> and uh, they just, you know, whether you're at the spot on West Time, which is this huge supermarket or the one downtown, like you said, there's a lot of great grab and go lunch options, but also just some great grocery shopping as well. Really fantastic place. Yeah, like we can spend time on calories and fats and carbs and all that. But I almost measure it as after I'm done eating at that place, 
I never leave thinking, ugh, I just feel disgusting or I just need to take a nap. I always feel like healthy. Yeah, I think that's, again, going back to the Mediterranean diet, I think that's always the goal is like when you eat Mediterranean Middle Eastern food, you typically leave feeling full and not feeling lethargic. And I think that's how you should feel after you eat a healthy meal. Mm -hmm. You've probably noticed that CityCast ads don't sound like other podcast ads. And that's because we're not just reciting national ad scripts. We're using our own words to talk about local businesses that we know and care about. Our ads are frequently passionate and they're always heartfelt. CityCast is doing things differently. And that's one reason we just won Ad Week's Podcast Innovator of the Year Award. This is personal for us. Our heart is in it. And when you place an ad with CityCast, our heart is in that as well. So if you're interested in getting your business or product in front of people who care about Houston as much as we do, consider placing an ad with CityCast, the podcast innovators of the year. And it's not just our city, by the way. CityCast has dedicated local teams in Boise, Chicago, Denver, DC, Madison, Philly, Pittsburgh, Portland, Salt Lake, Las Vegas, and soon Austin and Nashville. Place an ad today in the cities that matter to your company. Reach out by emailing us at ads at citycast.fm. That's ads at citycast.fm. Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breasts, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. How about you? What's your overlooked healthy restaurant? While it may not be the healthiest restaurant in the world, it's a great vegan option. My buddy, Chef Courtney, owns Mo Better Brews in the Museum District. I think it's the best vegan restaurant in the city of Houston. Um, they have a great brunch, lunch, and dinner, specifically the the vegan chicken and waffles where he uses oyster mushroom with a hot honey sauce. is amazing. Um, and I just Whoa. think I got it from an overlooked perspective. I think as a vegan restaurant, you know, we typically overlook that category. And I think that one checks that box. And then my other one is it's may not be super overlooked, but local foods, uh, great option all over town. Some really fantastic sandwiches and salads. And I really always like their sides. And now they have a great little grocery area at most of the restaurants as well. So you can do some shopping. Yeah, I think listeners of this podcast know my love affair for local foods is truffle egg salad sandwich. I think oh, that's the so best good. sandwich in Houston. And I just, yeah, I, I love that place. I didn't want to recommend that one because it might be a little unhealthy, that sandwich specifically. <laughs> yeah, that one in uh, But the crispy chicken sandwich isn't bad. You can get some good stuff there and stay healthy. Yes. All right, Rafi, you hit your goals for 2024. You just had a tough workout. You've incorporated your fitness goals in now, and you finished that workout. You're heading home. Where are you going for a post-workout meal? You know, when I'm working out afterwards, I kind of want to keep it light. I'm actually not going to go with a meal on this. I'm going to go with a smoothie, and I typically am going to hit up a place like Juiceland from out of Austin. I think they do a really good job of making smoothies and juices without a bunch of crap in them. They really use yeah. high quality ingredients and they'll use things like bee pollen instead or agave instead of a, a sweetened, you know, fruit that's completely artificial. And every time I go there, the smoothies just are delicious. And they've got a few locations, one in the Heights, one on Kirby, and I think they've got a few more. But my my pick for post workout meal is definitely a spot like Juice Land. See, I was going to pick a smoothie place as well, but I'm cheap and I never get a smoothie <laughs> after I work out because I usually just take my own protein shake and Fair. I mix it there. I'm just cheap. Okay. That's just how I am. But when I do pick up something after, I've got to get poke. I don't know Great. why, but poke is the perfect meal for me after a tough workout and hitting the gym. So there's obviously tons of poke recommendations out there. And just Google the one nearest you try them out. To me, poke works is one of my favorites. I love going there. It's always fresh. You get a lot for the price of the bowl. So I'm going poke. Great choice. Love poke works super efficient, especially after workout, you want to get in and out and get your food. And I think the quality of their, their fish speaks for itself too. Yep, absolutely.
So now people are still going to be going out to dinner, right? And we can't stop listeners from enjoying their life, but we can give them some good dinner spots here to stay healthy, eat healthier. Give me a good dinner spot recommendation. So for dinner, I'm definitely going to lean towards a place like Dish Society. They have several locations all over town, one in the Memorial area, one in the Heights, and one in the Galleria area. And they have tons of great options from appetizers, entrees, to sides. You can kind of build your own bowl there, or you can just stick to, you know, their chicken sandwich. Uh, They've also got this great dish that's basically a loaded avocado with brisket. And uh, they really do a great job of of kind of hitting that right balance of of healthy, uh, locally sourced ingredients and feeling like you're at a normal restaurant. And if you feel like cheating a little bit, you can grab a glass of wine or, or some beer, whatever you're feeling that night. Oh, Dish Society is so good. That's a really good recommendation. Yeah, you always leave that place happy. Yeah, I know Aaron, the owner, he does a great job. They really have a dedication to, to where they source their ingredients from. That is so important, right? Like there is something to that of eating healthier, feeling better because you know the ingredients were sourced from a good source and it's not just some random place. It's not a big, you know, factory or whatever. I love that. Mm -hmm. All right. For me, it's Flower Child. I love going to that place. The menu is nice. It's healthy. I love getting the Mother Earth Bowl. And if I'm at dinner, This is the only time where I'm adding steak instead of chicken. So I don't know. For some reason at night, I need some steak options. And the Mother Earth Bowl with steak is really filling. It's healthy. You get everything you need with your vegetables and grains. And of course, that protein hits really hard. It's marinated perfectly. I think Flower Child is a good dinner spot. People leave happy there as well. And the menu is perfect because it can accommodate everybody. It can be from vegans to guys like me who want something more filling. I'm going Flower Child. I love Flower Child. I've been eating there for a long time. Uh, my wife is from Phoenix and they've had, that's where the chain comes from. That's actually my favorite thing on their menu too. I'll get it with mm-hmm. steak or with salmon. Like you said, it's, it's. I think Dish Society and Flower Child are both spots where you can accommodate all diets, all dietary restrictions, carnivores, vegans. And they're definitely places where, you know, you can go as a group or you can go just as a couple for a date night. It's nice enough to go as a date night. Yeah, love that place. Okay, this last category, Rafi, I need your help with because I can't think of one, all right? Because when I think of dessert, I am indulging. I am going to eat unhealthy. I don't care about calories. I don't care about fat content. I just wanted to hit the spot. So do you have a recommendation for best healthy dessert that can kind of keep me sane this month? Okay, so it's a place where you can get healthy dessert and not so healthy dessert. It's going to be Michael's Cookie Jar on Westland. They have a gluten-free and vegan cookie. So if you're trying to avoid the gluten, if you're trying to avoid the butter, they have several varieties of each kind. I'm pretty sure it's chocolate chip, snickerdoodle, and I want to say the other kind is uh, the lemon cookie. But, you know, if you're trying to scratch that itch staying away from those two things michael's cookie jar hits the spot and uh, i kind of agree with you in the sense that if i'm eating dessert i'm not really trying to get healthy dessert i'm just trying to go the whole way yeah i'm trying to go ham on that dessert. Yeah, exactly. I, I just need it okay i need that itch scratched but michael's cookie jar is so good i love that place it's always fresh yeah and their cookies as you mentioned, they can be healthy. And then you've got the really decadent cookies there as well. Yes. So shout out to them. Yeah, when I'm feeling the not so decadent, that regular snickerdoodle over there uh, really, really hits the spot for me. They actually make all of our cookies and blondies and brownies over at Craft Pita. So we we know how good of a job they do. Man, that is awesome. Rafi, thank you so much for joining us. That was a lot of fun. Here's to a big 2024 and we'll see you at Craft Pita, okay? Thank you, Rio. Really appreciate your time and uh, look forward to see you at the restaurant. That was Chef Rafi. You can find all the places we discussed and more info on Craft Pita with the links in our show notes. So where's your favorite healthy spot, H-Town? Drop some knowledge on us by sending us a message on Instagram at CityCast Houston. That will do it for today. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something new. 